We all know that the crops in the U.S. have suffered from all types of weather, flooding, hail, heavy rain conditions, and now they don't have water for crops because of the tunnel collapsing. So it's a whole host of different reasons that these farmers have not been able to even plant a decent crop this year. Well, it's not just here. Asia crops are also taking a big hit, y'all. So this came out in Bloomberg July 30th, 2019. Global weather chaos is also taking its toll on Asia's crops. Wow. That don't look good. It's all cracked ground. Look at that. In a year when heat, record heat is scorching Europe and the heaviest rains in decades has inundated parts of the U.S. Midwest, the Asia Pacific region is suffering from its own <laughs> maelstrom of extreme weather drought and floods in some areas have devastated the livelihoods of thousands of people and damaged crops in an area that produces most of the world's palm oil natural rubber and rice and more than a third of its sugar while parts of china endured the most rain in almost 60 years water levels on the Mekong, one of Asia's largest river systems, have fallen among the lowest ever. In areas of southern India are battling relentless drought. Wow. Yeah, this is um, India. They took this picture on July 5th. Over the past several years, we've been seeing more dryness than not in the region, said Donald Keeney, senior agriculture meteorologist at Maxar, a U.S.-based weather consultant. These conditions will cause a decline in production of the main crops later this year and into next year, he said. Dry conditions have Wilted rice fields in Thailand and Indonesia and parched sugarcane plantations and oilseed crops in India. Here's a snapshot of how weather is affecting output in some key areas. All right. China, the northern region, lack of rain and drought have threatened some crops Though the impact is mitigated by irrigation, by contrast, some southern provinces had the heaviest rainfall since 1961 in the five weeks to early July, according to the Meteorologist Administration, hampering early rice output and worsening pest problems. China is the top producer of wheat and rice and second biggest for corn, according to U.S. Department of Agriculture data. India jostles with Brazil as the biggest producer of sugar. Output this year may drop to the lowest in three years as a prolonged drought shrivels canes in the state of Maharashtra. Maharashtra and Karnataka, I guess, uh, trimming the domestic surplus and potentially curbing exports. Deficient rainfall and the annual monsoon also threatens oilseed crops. 
which could boost foreign purchases of edible oils, uh, including palm oil, where the country is the largest importer. Still, Mumbai has been hit by heavy downpours, a sign of the weather erratic nature. Indonesia, Malaysia, these are the world top palm oil producers. The next three months will be crucial to determine how output will turn out next year and dryness in areas of Borneo Island will be closely watched, said Ling Ah Kong, director of plantation consultant Ganling. Okay. Um who worked in the industry for more than four decades. Rice production is threatened by dry weather on Java Island, where some areas are without rain for more than 60 days. Well, damn. Indonesia also stepping up efforts to prevent a repeat of haze that blanketed much of Southeast Asia four years ago by deploying thousands of firefighter an emergency response team in palm oil and rubber producing regions. Okay. Wow. Huh. Thailand is the globe's top grower of rubber and one of the largest exporters of sugar and rice. The worst drought in years in some areas is hurting crops and caused authorities to cut estimates for cane output and rice shipments. Cloud seeding planes have been deployed and pumps and trucks have been used to divert water to the affected areas in the north and northwest. Vietnam, a heat wave and drought have hit parts of the country hurting rice and rubber. Still, the central highlands where most coffee is grown have escaped major harm so far. Vietnam is the largest producer of the Robusta variety. Australia. Well, I guess it is burning up all over the earth, huh? Much of the East Coast is still gripped by a drought that began more than two years ago. The dry conditions are worse in Queensland, the biggest beef producing state, but extend into much of New South Wales. The situation is much better in Western Australia, where the wheat crop had good late rain and is likely to be on par with the bumper season last year. Even so, Australia is likely to import more wheat after the coming harvest, said Tubin Gori, a strategist at Commonwealth uh, Bank of Australia. Wow. You know, it looks like the conditions are bad everywhere, y'all, especially for farming. You know, it makes me wonder how farming is going in countries we haven't even heard about. So look like it is equally or even worse than the U.S. in Asia with all the extreme heat and drought in that region. And, you know, you don't even think about this. You know, I, I've been focusing so much on the U.S. I wasn't even thinking about other locations on earth being impacted by the weather but you know there are still a lot of people that don't believe climate change is real i mean look at i can't get over that cracked up ground and they still insist this is a hoax well i you know what all i have to say is this is one hell of a hoax <laughs> yeah that's all I have to say about that. But please tell me what you think, y'all. Farming is really doing very poorly in places that you think would have done pretty well with the crops. But 
looks like the weather is in full control of what's going on. And we know who controls the weather. The Most High. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.